know if you're having a gallbladder attack. What are the risk factors and what can be done to prevent gallbladder disease? We welcome Dr. Cecily uh, Wang. She's a general surgeon at the uh, Queens Medical Center, West Oahu campus, in this morning's Ask a Specialist. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you. First of all, um, when you talk about symptoms or signs, what are some of the warning signs that you are having an actual attack? There's um, fevers and chills, um, crampy pain in the right upper abdomen, um, and sometimes nausea, sometimes not vomiting. So, so some of those, those are some of the symptoms, but there are risk factors that you can, that you see before that, right? Yes. So some of the risk factors are? Are um, increased weight, um, genetics, meaning a family history, and um, age for people in their 40s and 50s, and also being a female and being pregnant. Really? So, so yes. women are more likely to get this, or this... That's one of the, the risk factors. It is one of the risk factors. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, so when it comes to avoiding, because we all want to try to avoid this, what, what can we do to avoid gallbladder disease? So we can try to maintain a, a average weight. We can exercise. We can avoid fatty, greasy meals. And sometimes this isn't avoidable, and when it's not avoidable, then we, that's when we may need surgery. You need surgery. I'm going to get to surgery in a bit, but this is what our tummy looks like inside, right? And, and what, where is our gall gallbladder when it comes to where our tummy is? So this is exactly what it would look like inside uh -huh. my body. The gallbladder sits under the liver uh -huh. um, in the right upper abdomen, so it's this green, green structure. Area. So it's not very big. It's not. Okay, but it's essential to our, to our function and, and our well-being, but sometimes we need to remove that. C that's surgery. correct. Tell us a little bit about that. So the surgery is normally done laparoscopically, um, more than 95% of the time these days. And that's done with four small incisions, one for a, a tiny camera and three other instru uh, for instruments that are used to remove the gallbladder. Now, with laparoscopic surgery, there's less pain than with the open procedures, and the patients can go home in wow. one day usually. So technology has really helped the recovery. Mm -hmm. And so the next question that I have, you can live without a gallbladder. You can live without a gallbladder. Because what does a gallbladder do for us every day? The gallbladder holds bile and squeezes bile into the intestines to help with digestion. Without the gallbladder, we still have bile that's going from the liver through the bile ducts directly into the intestines. Okay, very common. Is it common or very It's a common, common procedure. It is a common procedure. Yes. Wow, I did not know all of that about our gallbladder. Can we live without one? We can we live can. without a gallbladder. We can. Wow, so much to learn. To learn more about gallbladder disease and other uh, causes of dam abdominal pain, you can join uh, Dr. Wang for a free Speaking of Health lecture at the Queens Medical Center, West Oahu campus. It's called A Pain in the Gut, uh, When to Worry, When to Hurry. And it's uh, this Thursday, February 15th, from 6 to 7, all part of Queens West Oahu's monthly lecture series, uh, featuring very important issues and health information for the community. Uh, to register, call the Queens Referral Hotline, 691-7117, or you can go to Queens West Oahu. Org and just click attend a class. Infor interesting information. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. All right.